Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm coming back again to uh, do another just random video. And this won't be the actual video. This will be just kind of a lead in, uh, give you a little taste of what the video will be like that I'm going to post on my channel. Um, I thought it was really relevant to do something on this channel related to this just because Travis, Planet Beer Wagon, had posted on his daily videos that he's doing right now. And I just, I really feel like I need to plug him here. I don't know if there's anybody on this channel that's not watching his channel, but if for some reason they're not, they really should. It's great stuff. He's doing a video every day. Uh, he had made a promise to try to do one every day if he hit 2,000 subs. He didn't quite make it, and he's just trying to do one anyway. And I'm so excited because he does great content. It's awesome for people that are really nostalgic, people that are into pop culture, into comedy, into all kinds of things. It's just, um, it's basically exactly what I like to watch. I, he's been a good friend of mine for a couple of years now, and I uh, really just have no complaints about any of the videos he's done. The video I'm going to be doing today, though, I'm going to skip right to this. He did a video where he showed some of his early toys. It was like some of his stuffed animals, you know, like um, the like teddy bear type stuff that he had when he was a child that he has still today. And it was really funny. He had a bit with a clown on there that was hilarious. What I want to do is something similar to that, and I want to give you guys just a preview of it, and I want to try to do a more detailed video response on my main channel. So it should post right after this, like maybe a day or two later. First of all, what I'm going to be doing on that channel is uh, different categories of things I had when I was a child, including stuffed animals, you know, like plush toys, and then books, and then like real action figures. To me, those are the three main things that I had when I was a child that I kept. Uh, is I kept as many as I could growing up. And there's a few things related out of these. You'll see a lot of themes because when I was a child in the late 70s and early 80s, there's the certain things were really big and they stuck for years and years and years. You know, things didn't come and go as quick as they do nowadays. And when I was a child, we didn't have really anything like a VCR. Um, I was pretty old before my family got a VCR. So when I was a kid, books were a big thing. If you were into movies or TV shows or something like that, especially movies, uh, the book itself, the storybook was a big part of your memory of that movie because you may not get to see it very often. So, okay, I'll just jump in here and show a little bit of each category, and then you guys check out my regular channel coming up very soon. Then you will get a full taste of all the different things I'm going to show. First thing I'm going to show, since this is what Travis's video was all about, um, his stuffed animals. So I'm going to show this little guy here. I've had him a long time. Hopefully you can see him pretty well. This, of course, is Ernie. He's uh, looking a little rough. He's a little beat up here. In fact, like his part right here in his arms, I don't know if you can see that. That part right there is like there's nothing there. It's almost like a joint because all the materials wore down for me bending his arms. Uh, but yeah, this little Ernie guy here, I've had this um, at least since the late 70s, maybe like 78, 79. I was really pretty small when I got this guy. So yeah, there's Ernie and he's... Um, Kind of looks like he's got a shirt on, but it's like sewn on. So it's just one solid piece. Um, I had this, and then I had a Kermit the Frog that I wish I still had, but I no longer have that Kermit the Frog. So, yeah, there's Ernie. He's about a foot tall, something like that, um, if you can see him in relative terms to me. Uh, but, yeah, so uh, that's him. And on the back, he's pretty basic. Uh, there was a tag there that's like really gone. So there's one of my stuffed animals. Uh, the next thing I want to show is the very, very first action figure I ever had when I was a kid. And it's this guy. And uh, his name is Hammerhead. This is from the 1970s um, action figure line, the original Star Wars that Kenner did. Uh, this guy came out about 1978. Um, he came with a weapon, and I actually do have that weapon. Uh, I think I had to buy a replacement because I didn't have mine anymore. His head's kind of loose, as you'll see. Um, I tried not to move his parts too much. Um, I always loved the aliens and the robots. So those were my favorite guys. 
So uh, yeah, this is Hammerhead. And then I want to show you a book. And this is one of my all-time favorite books when I was a kid. Um, this is The Mad Monsters Mix and Match. I had several of these books, and I'll be showing a couple more when, when I get my full video up. But as you'll see, um, this is a book where each section has a story to go along with the head. And then when you flip it, it changes to Dracula. It changes to this like goo guy. I can't remember the glob. That's what they call him instead of like the blob. Uh, this one-eyed guy is so funny. He's the great glaring eye is what it says. But um, yeah, there's just really funny. And this mad scientist guy always kind of creeped me out because he's got like, I don't know why. It's Dr. Jekyll, but he's got like pointed teeth, kind of like Dracula. And then there's the werewolf, and the mummy. And then at the very end is this two-headed guy. The fuzzy what was he? <laughs> but each section of this book has different things, and this thing about the dragon is that he's got um, he's got this, he's sneezing, he's got like allergies or something like that. And then you know, of course, each section has its own little part of the story. So what you can do is you can just mix and match these. Like if you want it to be uh, Dracula that's sneezing, but then you want the you know the rest of the story to be. The glob, who says he slides under a door but gets stuck on the floor. And then at the very, very bottom, the, the what was he guy says, in the shop when he needs a shampoo. <laughs> but for whatever reason, I always love this book. It stuck with me. Golly, let me see when this book was made. Uh, 1977. So this is probably one of the earliest books I got. I'm sure I got it at like a B. Dalton or a Walden Books. Uh, those were both at the, the shopping mall that was near my house when I was a kid, and they had big kid sections. Neither one of those exists. They've been gone probably since the 90s. B. Dalton and Walden Books were like a favorite of mine to go into. And uh, this might have been sitting on the shelf like for a year or two, so I might not have got that to like 78 or 79, but yeah. So that was a book that I had. Now I want to show you another sort of kind of book, but it's also something that... Um, it's kind of like music, I guess you could say. Had it for so long. This is The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and this is the ones where it's um, the read-along is what they would call it. Uh, but it's like a storybook. But you, um, it's music and it's like music and it's scenes from the story. But then it's a narrator that reads. And uh, when you flip through the book and... Um, this is like one of my favorite pages here because it had all the uh, bounty hunters on there, including IG-88 and Bosk and Dengar and Boba Fett. And um, I always loved this book, although it was kind of funny because I didn't get to, to play with it very much. Like I always wanted to take my books with me. And this is one of the ones that like my family wouldn't let me take with me because of this. It has a record in the back. And I was not allowed to use the record player, which is really funny because that just means that that's how old this book is. It's got a record in it. I've got a few that are from around the same time that have uh, cassettes. And I remember when I was a kid, you could get a cassette or a record. And sometimes the records would be sold out. Sometimes the cassettes would be sold out. And I had a little Fisher-Price uh, cassette player when I got a little bit older, so I was able to listen to a lot of these cassettes. So I'll show you, like I've got, here's one for Black Hole, and it's really kind of beat up. But I've got the storybook that goes to that as well over here. Uh, but I was able to listen to those, but I never really had my own record player. The record player itself was built into a system that, um, like a big stereo system that my family had, and of course, you know, I was too young to mess with that. But that just gives you an idea of some of the things I'm going to try to show in that big video. And like I say, that's a video response to Travis. He's the one that kicked this off, showing some of his early uh, childhood toys. And I hope maybe he'll come back and do another video response to what I put up. And maybe show some of his early action figures, if he's still got some. Maybe show some of his early books. Um... I mean, just anything related to that. I'd like to see him just expand upon his original story and some of the information that he had to go along with those stuffed animals, which was really, really fun to watch. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and I'll just let you guys know that just keep checking back with my channel, uh, Cynical44, and I will have the full-length uh, video that will be in a little better quality when I have more time.
Okay, guys. Hope you guys have a good week and take care. Talk to you later.